to head downstairs and have breakfast. It has been a while since I have vlogged and there are a few reasons for that which I will share later on in the vlog but I have been having my breakfast in a different way. I have been trying to start my day, probably not even to start my day, just trying to find a slower pace to my day and I shared in a few vlogs ago how I am now trying to like transition into a different work-life balance and previously I used to make a smoothie and then have my smoothie whilst I was working but we're not doing that anymore we are sitting down having breakfast and I have been reading actually. Instead of having a smoothie, I have been making a, a smoothie bowl. So let's go make that smoothie bowl. I've been adding in frozen raspberries and strawberries and a banana. I'm using free salt vanilla protein blend. Although I am making a very smoothie bowl they do a berry blend which is delicious but i just find if i have the vanilla it can go with anything topping wise i add raspberries and blueberries peanut butter and then i add some chia seeds some banana chips and some pumpkin and sunflower seeds i love decorating my smoothie bowls. I think that's what's nice is to have a smoothie, you just like pour it into a glass, into a cup, whatever, and obviously just go ahead and then drink it. Whereas with a smoothie bowl, I'm just taking that time in, in decorating. It brings me a lot of joy and satisfaction in decorating my smoothie bowls. And it just means I'm just taking that little bit more time rather than being in that rushed energy. I feel like get into that creative flow when decorating my smoothie bowls. <laughs> While I've been having my smoothie bowl, I have been reading. Usually in the morning, I will read a non-fiction book. However, I am reading Anna Karenin. This is our book club read. And I am reading another series in the evening, which I'm absolutely loving. And I wanted to continue reading that. And so just for now, I have swapped a non-fiction book for reading Anna Karenin, because as you can see, there is a lot to get through before the next book club. I am heading down to the bottom of the garden to my yoga house, and I want to show you something. I have got a little baby bird nest. We inside of the wreath on my door. It's so cute. I am going to do some admin work now before I head to the gym for a blaze workout. That's my admin work done. Now time to get ready. To go to place. I am ready for a coffee and going to do my Spanish homework now. I will listen to a Spanish app on the way back home from the gym, and that's language transfer. It's it's amazing. I find it it's just such a good app, one of the best ones that I've used. I love listening to that when I'm in the car. And then we have our Spanish lesson every Friday with the lovely Paloma. And I have got homework to do. So I'm gonna have a coffee and do my Spanish homework. 
I am feeling pancakes for lunch. We're not going out for a walk today, are we? Because you've been poorly. You go poorly poor, haven't you? And so the vet's told you to rest. Don't know walks, but that's a fuss. <laughs> I have just prepared dinner for this evening. We are having stir fry vegetables with buckwheat noodles and some cashews. have noticed that I haven't been vlogging lately. I have still been uploading to YouTube but there haven't been vlogs and there are a few reasons for that. One of those reasons follows on from what I shared in my last vlog about trying to find a better work-life balance and I have just been giving myself the space to get into a flow, to be explorative, to find out what, what works, what doesn't work. But also I have been giving myself the space to just be with the resistance that came up around that and the struggles that I have faced with trying to find this new way of being. In that last vlog, I shared how I have been very much in a yang state, a yang energy of creating and making things happen and it needed to happen. That was an intentional yang energy. However, upon reflection, I don't know why I thought it would be easy just to go straight from this yang energy and at times a heightened yang energy into then a more slower, more mindful, more intentional way of living. And of course it wasn't just gonna happen overnight. And I don't know why I thought that it almost would. I had got very good at being in that yang energy or I'd, I'd created habits, I created neural pathways of doing things and so I just needed to give myself that space to almost then transition and I guess that's what I've been doing. I have just been trying to find opportunities to be more but also be with the resistance that comes up around that. We place so much pressure on ourself, but that pressure can come from outside of us. It can be an external pressure. And I think that's what I've also been experiencing. We can't ignore the fact that we are very conditioned to feel like we have to always do more and be more. And I've been really aware of that. And just at, it's, it's just brought up a lot of kind of like really old ways of working as well and just seeing just seeing patterns that have come up and I've also then really recognized not only are those the, those external pressures that we receive from outside of us from the world from society but then also the pressures that we place on ourselves and I just wanted to share that because if you too are trying to find a healthier work-life balance, trying to live a more mindful, slower paced life, but are struggling, then you are not alone. You are not alone. But I just really encourage you to stay committed to that intention. That balance is so, so important that it is our responsibility to create that balance. And it is so needed. We cannot be in that yang energy all of the time. We wanna find that balance between the yang and the yin but it's not easy. Like, slowing down isn't easy. And this is the thing, I share about that in my yoga classes. Like I will often say to people who are new to yoga, like one of the hardest postures is Shavasana, being still. And I have experienced so many people that have struggled with Shavasana, struggled being still, struggled to meditate. So I don't know why I thought it would be any different as I've been trying to find this, this um, this healthier balance. So that's one of the reasons I've just been giving myself that space to journey through all of that. And then another reason 
I wasn't sure if I was going to share this or not, but for me, it's really important to not create vlogs, videos that are a highlight reel or only share and reflect life when, you know, when we're at the top of this wave as opposed to at the, the low point of our wave. But equally, I also give myself privacy, boundaries and space when I am journeying through those low waves. But it doesn't mean to say that they don't happen. And there have been some periods where I have been journeying through some very low waves. And I have just found myself kind of pulled down quite a lot and found it difficult to keep on bringing myself back up again. Basically, I just found myself very much at the depths of this low wave and was just really struggling to bring myself out of it. I then just surrendered and let myself be in it. And and that was hard in itself, but I, you know, there are things that needed to come up, some healing that needed to be done that ultimately it kind of just all rooted from this feeling of not feeling good enough. And that was mirrored out into all areas of my life. And I was in such a lack energy of just scanning things that weren't working, that weren't going well. And there were times when I just felt like, like, what's the point? What's the, what's the point in, in, in what I do? And yeah, I was just very much in a state of just wanting to give it all up. I reached out to a very dear friend of mine, a truly, truly beautiful soul who just made me feel so supported, but also really inspired again. And I confided in her with how I'd been feeling and what had been going off and I shared with her how I was like, what's the point in me even vlogging? Like the, my, you know, I don't feel like what it is that I'm doing is is of service. And that's always the intention for what it is that I do to try and inspire people, to try and help people and to be of service. And I just didn't feel like I, I was doing that. And she then said to me how much the vlogs had helped her and how when she's not feeling great or feeling uninspired or unmotivated, she will turn to the vlogs and just said how much they help her with in her, in her life. And it, that was just everything. And hearing that has actually inspired me to do this vlog, to start vlogging again. And it's not that I need to receive comments or external validation, but just to hear that what it is that I'm doing is helping people. That That is everything. But it's really hard when you aren't hearing that, when you aren't hearing how things have like helped or um, what it's, it's inspired you to maybe do. And so don't underestimate the power of your words or the power of leaving a comment or sharing something. I, and that's not me asking you to leave comments. There are a few of you that do, and I can't express just like how grateful I am to you because that then just inspires me to keep on sharing what it is that I'm doing and I hope that what I share is inspiring, is supportive, is helpful and that's the whole intention. So yeah, there's just like been kind of like why I haven't been vlogging but I'm back again and I'm feeling in a much better state journeying through that and very much still journeying through that inspired me to create the theme embracing enoughness where I share the ways the things that I have embodied and embraced to help me move from that state of not feeling enough towards a state of feeling enough. I am now going to dive into some work for a little bit of admin work to get done now and then I'll be heading down to the studio later but I am feeling much more balanced feeling more inspired after having time throughout the day to just be because a lot of my work is done in the evenings and I think that's where I've been going wrong in the past I've been working in the day and then in the evening as well and there is no need I do not need to work all day I do not need to work all night 
Um, so yeah, it just I'm feeling the benefits of putting those things in place. Anyway, now time to dive into some work. It is definitely April shower weather with some wind added in. It's very cold today. I'm kind of glad that we didn't go out for a walk. I am heading to the studio this evening to teach a flow class, then a chill class, and then we're finishing off with a meditation. Yes, get the kettle on. I'm ready for a cup of tea. is me finished for the evening. It is so nice to have these lighter evenings. Very, very grateful and appreciative for the lighter nights. And I'm also very appreciative and grateful towards my past self for getting dinner prepped and ready because I am so hungry and so ready for dinner. Hello. Oh, it's such a lovely welcome. It's such a lovely welcome. When I make a stir fry, I usually just add some garlic, chilies, ginger, and then some soy sauce. This is the book series that I'm reading in the evening. I am hooked. This is the second book of the series and it is a fantasy series. I forgot what the name is. It's like two words combined to define this genre, but whatever it's called, I am absolutely loving this series. On that note, I am going to get myself ready for bed, into bed and dive into some chapters. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for this vlog and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.